here we go we got a Ford 6.7 the left hand side fuel rail see another video the guy's chopping off the fuel rail trying to find the orifice he cut the damn thing but uh, you ain't got to do all that there's the orifice it's actually located right in here those are the four ports for the injectors uh, five through eight and then you got your two lines coming from your pump and your one line for crossover going to the other side of the fuel rail so you can take out both of the both the sensors right here and then as you can see See, I got a light shining through there right there. You see the light all the way through there. So all I did was took that sensor, both of them out. Use a, uh, you can use a quarter inch extension. And I didn't have, it wasn't long enough, so I just cut a bolt off and used that just to get it off. But there it is, it's a two-piece little orifice. And it's got a small little hole right there you can see. Just like the rest of them. You can see the light. You can see the holes right there. You can see the light shining up through there. Here's the last three. That one don't want to shine through, but it's there. See it that way too. They're all clear. There ain't not, no obstructions in this fuel rail. You can see it right there. There's the last one. So there it is, 2012. 2012. This is off a uh, 2012 Ford F350 Power Stroke fuel rail for the driver's side or the left hand side so all it takes is one little little contaminant metal shavings whatever gets in there and plugs that up and then you'll have all kind of damn fuel issues so they say you really got to replace the whole damn thing but uh, if you can get that out and clean it out and put it all back together, there's really no sense of damn replacing the damn thing. 